Ladies and gentlemen, I now welcome His Excellency, the Governor General of the Commonwealth of Australia, General the Honourable David Hurley, to make his address and to proceed with the unveiling. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great delight for Linda and I to be sharing this occasion uh, with you this morning, uh, particularly to honour Sir John and his magnificent and significant and long commitment uh, to our country. As a former Prime Minister, it's appropriate that this statue of his joins the growing number of such statues in the parliamentary triangle. We should recognise the characteristics of Sir John McEwen. Loyalty, pragmatism, determination and a willingness to work hard and in reflecting on them, use them to inform our behaviour today. It's a great honour, therefore, to be asked as Governor-General to unveil Sir John's statue today. Thank you. The enduring values of the National Party are truly represented by Sir John Blackjack McEwen, and the celebration today of the unveiling of this statue reflects our very proud 100-year history. This statue cast in bronze and the terrazzo mosaic below are symbols of our party's journey. So I salute all of you today. We should all be proud you have made it happen. Thank you. A road map contains many lines going in different directions. Some straight, others not. The map that guides the country party, now the nationals, is an interesting one. By no means have the roads it plots been smooth. Never easy. Far from it. But all of us on that journey have a sense of purpose, of courage, determination, vision. All of us, all of us here, all the members of the Country Party, National Party, have that sense. None more so than Sir John McEwen. With a compass in his heart and steel in his resolve, Blackjack took our party, regional people, our nation, on a path to success. We stand on the shoulders of giants. And we walked all on our own journey, thanks to the course Blackjack plotted for our people and for our party for the next hundred years and beyond. Thank you. Without Blackjack, we wouldn't have Australia as we knew it. I mean, uh, he was firmly a protectionist, and at that point in time in Australia's history, economic history, we needed protectionism in order to develop industries and get growth in Australia. That's what he delivered, that's what he fought for, and um, he's made our nation what it is. There's so many industries and so many jobs that just would not be here if it wasn't for the economic vision of Blackjack McEwen. McEwen is a man whose life reveals a great deal about courage, steadfastness and determination. I think the major thing he had was integrity and people believed him, uh, he, they believed him because uh, he had that integrity and I think he, he um, we talk about the divide between the, the city and the country now and I think it's much wider than it was then and I think somehow he brought them together and uh, I think that was one of his great attributes. Uh, a man of the people, uh, but also uh, he could mix it with anybody on any stage anywhere around the world and, and took the nation's interests uh, to another level. He 
has cast a large shadow and legacy over our party for the good, for the common good. He's been uh, truly a mighty force within our party and you know, as you sit there in that party room and the, and the leaders look down upon us, they also look to the future. We've been going for 100 years. We'll be going for another 100 years at least and we'll still be there sticking up for rural and regional people just like Buck Jack did.